Today I will be interviewing two members of the Johnson family. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson got married about six months ago and they both have an adolescent son and a daughter each um, from previous marriages. Well, the two son, adolescent boys, they do not get along, they physically fight, they bicker, and their parents just want to find ways to um, get them to get along and be more brotherly-like. So today in this meeting, we're going to further discuss ways to get them more acquainted with one another. And here I am to introduce the two members of the Johnson family. My name is Darren Johnson, 17 years old. Uh, I live with my dad, my stepmom, my two sisters. Why do you believe you're here, Darren? Uh, I think I'm here because my my dad says that we uh we fight a lot, bigger a lot. So uh, I guess we should get in council a little bit. My name is Jamal James. I'm 16 years old. I live with my mom, my stepdad, two sisters, and my stepbrother. Why do you believe you're here today? I don't know why I'm here. I ain't got no problem. Hello. Hi. Monique, what's your name? Darren. Darren. Monique, what's your name? Jamal. Jamal, nice to meet you. Yeah, Jamal, hi. glad to have you guys with me today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a beautiful day, right? <laughs> Wonderful day? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, well, um, you're 17, right? And you're 16? Okay, so you guys are in both in high school. You enjoying it? You're almost finished? Almost. Almost? Okay, that's good. Well, can you guys, um, do you guys know why you're here today? Can you explain to me why you're here today? No. No? I got no clue. You don't know? Well, basically your parents believe that you guys are having issues with one another. I know they recently got married, and it's just really hard. It might be really hard on you guys, and um, they just, they just, you don't believe it's hard on you? Yeah. I don't care. You don't care? Well, the way you guys are acting towards one another, they believe that there are some issues that need to be solved. And um, and before we really get started, uh, this is a counseling session that I would appreciate if you guys just, you know, hold, sit your phones down momentarily because I believe it's hard for me to talk to you and you to talk to me and for me to understand you if you're not focusing mm -hmm. on this conversation. Thank you. I definitely appreciate it. So, um, so you guys know why you're here now, right? Your parents mm -hmm. believe that you need, you know, some healing to your relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long have you guys known each other? About six months before our parents got together. Six months? Okay, so about a year, right? Somewhere a little like over a year? Yeah. A little over a year? Yeah. yeah. So you guys didn't know each other at all before then? No, I didn't know nah. in school. You yeah, didn't know. school. Oh, you knew well, me. I didn't know me, man. I didn't talk to you like that. You didn't know me. People like him, what do you mean Dude, when you say? Immature. Immature. Uh, immature. Immature. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I know this is you guys have had you know issues with their relationship, but we're gonna try to stick, stay away from the name calling and you know things of that nature. So, um, when did you guys like start not liking each other? Was it before your parents got married, or as soon as they got married, or was it just like you just didn't associate with never each liked other? It. He's and, always been petty. Petty. Could you explain what you mean when you say petty? Yeah, he's always about him. Oh, him, about him, him, him. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't, you don't believe he looks at the issues of others. He's always focused on himself. He's kind of always focused on himself. Okay. He always hit the Xbox. Mm -hmm. He always hit the nice phones. Mm -hmm. He always gets money from mom. Okay. We'll get some money, money from your daddy. Shoot. My mama. Okay. Ain't your mama, fool. All right. Okay, so um, basically you guys just basically saying you don't get along with one each other because you don't um, associate with each other's kind, so to speak. So it has nothing to do with your parents getting married or anything like that. So you, no, not really? Something like that. Okay, okay. Well, you both have sisters, right? Yeah. Do you believe they're involved in this, uh, you guys, issues? No, nah, because I'm cool with them. They don't act the same way as he do. No. Yeah. Nah, they ain't immature like him. Okay. They ain't petty like him. Okay. Well, I know that um, both of your parents have recently been divorced, probably for um, maybe a few years now, which is kind of recent for, you know, I know for adolescents and teenage boys especially, it's hard for um, 
have to deal with their parents getting divorced, hard for them being away from their father and their, you know, mother. So has it really affected you guys in any way? Can you explain to me how you feel about that? I ain't had no daddy anyway. You have a daddy? So just you and your mom? Yeah, that's all I need. My mom don't need no other man that likes to me. It's not mine. I always did me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say the same. But right. you ain't do you. Like no I said, you petty. Like I said, do you. No matter who's around me. Right. You like him. I ain't trying right. to get around you, though. No I ain't trying to hear that. Okay. So you guys weren't really, you don't believe you were affected by the divorce? Mm-hmm. Not no. really? Okay, okay. I'm affected by the pettiness I'm surrounded by. Okay. So what you're saying is you just basically, you just don't get along with each other just because. And, you know, your uh, parents getting divorced doesn't affect you whatsoever? No. Okay, okay. I wish you get another divorce. Okay. Mm. All right. So here we're going to do an eco map. Do you guys know what an eco map is? No. No? Mm-hmm. You don't know what an eco map Well, basically it just shows the relationship between you and... Um, either other people or family members or different activities within your life that can either um, be helpful to you, positive, negative. But we're just basically going to map out um, how that looks, okay? Mm-hmm. So could you guys, I'm going to show you how to do it right here. So can you tell me, I'm going to put you two in the middle, and you tell me different um, relationships that you have, whether they're positive or negative, just anything, sports or... Oh, I play. I play baseball. You play baseball, okay? Mm-hmm. And you believe that's positive? That's a positive relationship mm-hmm. that keeps you sane. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Do you have something that keeps you sane, keeps you lifted up throughout yeah, the day, throughout the know, week? I, I rap and I make beats. Rap? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're a rapper. I like that. Rapper. Okay. What about the relationship between um, your father and your mother? How's that look? I don't get into that business. You don't get into that business? Well, now that your parents are together and you live with your um, mother, how does that, or your father, I'm sorry, your father, do you have a close relationship with your mother? I never really had a close relationship. You never really had a close relationship? Okay, okay. What about you? What about your, uh, you, I remember you mentioned that you never had a father, right? Or you weren't really close with your father. Yeah. Okay. Okay, do you guys have any other activities that you're involved with? Mm, I play the Xbox. Xbox? Okay, yeah, that's he's good. He's always marking the Xbox. That's good, that's you can't good. play, that's why. Okay. See, you know, ain't no good. Box. Okay. Always dogging me. You want to jump on a dive. What is something that you enjoy besides baseball? I know that's a big part of your life. What do you like? I know my nerves. Girls? Do you like girls? Okay. I like girls. You like girls? What about school? Is anybody, um, you guys are both in high school, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what about school? Do you enjoy school in school? Yeah, I like no? school. You like school? Uh-huh. You make them good grades? Yeah. That's good to hear, good to hear, good grades. Okay. All right, now this basically just shows, it's just showing you uh, the positives and negatives within your relationships, and it's just good to know, um, you know, what keeps you going and what may be hindering you from further. Okay. So, all right, so can you explain more about um, your personal relationship with your father? Or do you believe that um, your stepmom is trying to take your mom's place, or uh, not really? Do you yeah, know? something like that. Okay. A little okay. bit. Okay. What about you? What about me? How is your relationship with your stepfather? What do you mean my stepfather? How is your relationship? There is no relationship. I don't want no relationship. Can you explain to me why you don't want a relationship with him? What you mean? I told you already. My mom didn't know other man that likes how me. Okay. So you believe that since it's always been just you two, then nobody else should be, you know, trying to interfere with that, right? Okay. I see what you're saying. I'm trying to understand you better. I'm trying to understand. Okay. Okay. All right. So I've gotten the very detailed information. Um, with you guys on this first meeting, and I really enjoy discussing things with you guys. So the next meeting, um, we're going to discuss more about the relationships with your siblings and other members of your family and see how we can maybe relate you, your lives together and maybe figure out um, 
why you guys did not get along so much. So, uh, what time is a good time next week for you guys to meet or talk to my mom? The okay. next two weeks, talk to your mom. I got day clubs and baseball, so. Okay, so we'll make a few phone calls and see what we can do, and then we'll go from there, okay? It was nice meeting you guys. We're done. Yep, we're done. Nice meeting you guys. Me too. Thank you. Uh, hey, mama, come Thank get you. me.